Welcome back to Fantabulous Bags, where we do product development sketching. Today, we're going to work on this really lovely YU Indian bag. Um, we're going to do a sketch of it uh, pretty much in its natural state. You can also do a sketch of it for development as a flat, um, but I'm going to do it just as more of a stylistic thing. You can even use that for um, specs if you add several like more detailed sketches so here let's get up close look at that well wow. well we got a little static happening Yee, but it's really nice you can look at all the stitch work and weave okay so let's go to our table you can see my nice messy table and uh, let's get that over there okay so now what I'm going to do first is, as I usually do, is um, get up close and personal. I'm gonna grab my bag and I'm going to do a few measurements on it. Actually, let's get back. Okay. So the first thing to know about this bag is that the bottom is round. It's a round bottom. You wanna figure out where exactly the bottom is supposed to be. You can tell by where it actually, the weave starts getting tighter and it become, it goes up. So on this bag, it's actually this pink. So we're gonna measure. It's hard to tell like when you're doing a video because you really have to, it's like three, uh, it's okay, it's nine, that makes sense. It's a nine round inch bottom diameter nine. And let's see, so now we're gonna turn this up and here, I'm gonna measure at the bottom. Okay, so the body of the bag is, I wanna say, 10 and a half, uh, it's really 11 inches. Let's say 11 inches, okay. And now the drop, we're going to just go with like a usual crossbody drop. So that, three, okay. And that could be anywhere from 18 inches to 26, it depends on. And usually it's adjustable, not on this one. Look at this, wow, look at all this stuff, amazing, okay. So uh, the way we're going to do this this time is I'm going to draw the outline of the bag first to make things easier. And then next week, we're going to do another class on actually doing the weave detail. And then uh, after we do that, we're going to go and get that on the computer and color it in. Okay, so here we can look at this lovely weave detail. Okay, I'm going to put my bag over here. Always have your sample close by to look at it while you're doing your sketching. Okay, so let's get close. All right, and let me find all my lovely art stuff. Okay, so first, any nice skinny pencil. Okay, so we said it was 10 and a half. We can usually do something if you wanna go to a larger format. You could just go from inches to centimeters. That's one way of doing it, so. Right. I'm gonna do a little, I'm gonna cheat it down. Cheat it down a little bit, yeah. Okay, so that's more or less gonna be the height of my bag. And um, the next thing we're going to do, rem we're going to remember that this is a round bottom bag. So the bottom of the bag actually is quite rounded and we said it was, it was nine inches. So let's do that at the bottom. Since I'm cheating it down, it's gonna be more like there. Okay, it's gonna be more like eight centimeters. Okay, I'm just doing this to give myself some idea of proportion. You don't want to have a bag that is sample that's going to look totally different than the sketch, especially when you're dealing with lots of sample hands. So the bottom of the bag is going to have a really rounded look because it's a circle. So there we go. That's the bottom of our bag. Okay, now the top of the bag is quite much wider because it's just really going straight up. But because it's cinched, and we're going to draw it that way, but you can draw it natural. In other words, you would open it and just let it relax. You can draw it that way too as a spec. It's just not really stylistically attractive. Okay, so let me just check. I'm going to give myself an idea. Yeah, so it's 11 inches. So the bottom of the bag, I mean the top of the bag rather, is also going to be... All right. It's going to be a little bit bigger than the bottom. Like here. Okay, I'm just giving myself an idea of how this bag is going to look. 
the outline. Okay, so now it gets cinched in. So this is the fun part. Now we're going to create a um, kind of a fluid look to the top of the bag because it's cinched in. It gets a little bit, um, okay, actually, let's take a look at it before we start going crazy. So we'll see here we have uh, three areas where it's cinched. So let's draw that. The first area is right here. So it goes in and then it goes out and then it goes in and then it goes out again and then it goes back in. And that is where more or less you're going to find the shoulder strap pulling in. Okay, so the shoulder strap, okay, there. And you can redraw this with pencil as much as you want until you're done. And then once you start putting marker in or whatever you're going to use, you better be careful. Okay, so next we're going to give ourselves a really dramatic shoulder drop because this is a crossbody. So we're going to go wee. Now, again, if you want to draw this um, completely uh, flat, you can. That's one way of doing it. You don't have to, but sometimes some factories prefer that. Maybe I'll do a class like that, that I'll do one completely flat sketch. Honestly, they're really boring looking. They're super boring, <laughs> but it actually might be worthwhile to do. Okay, so here we go. Now we're going into our nice wide. Okay, so there. So this, let me see. It just gets tacked on and then it goes to the side. All right. So this doesn't have a side seam because it's all woven in. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to draw the back side of our bag, which actually echoes the front side like that. So we're going to do same amount of ins and outs. Oop, and then it goes there. Okay, so now, well, let's look at the details. So the way this is done... You can't see, but it's actually all hand tacked here to the top of the bag. And you have these like fun little tassel -y things. So we have to draw that as well. Okay, so let's actually count them. Let's see, so you can count them by counting the stripes. You get two per stripes. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Okay, so there's a lot, there's a lot going on here. There's 32 strings over here. We don't have to draw 32. We just want to draw enough so that we know what we're doing. Also, another thing you can do is actually take detailed photographs and send it to the factory if you want the exact right weave or the exact weave. But if you do want to do something a little bit smaller, you can just draw the, the, uh, design and tell them how big it is and they'll calculate so all right so let's go ahead we're going to draw our little bunch of fun little tassel -y things now because we're drawing this to be set up on a computer we want to make sure that our tassel -y things are perfect in other words there's no holes in our sketch and you can always add later okay so now we have something like 10 and then we're just drawing each one separately. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add extra because they kind of come out from under each other, which is fine and dandy. All right, just do a lot of them. All right, so now we have a bunch. We have to do the same thing on the other side. Now you can see I'm doing it as a kind of three quarter view. That usually is the case because by necessity you have to do that if you're going to use this in a spec because you want them to know what the gusset is unless and less and less you are going to give them a separate gusset sketch which you could do okay so let's just get a bunch of nice hairy wearies around here make sure they're more or less the same length okay so now we have our fun buckety kind of look got a nice tassel sticking out okay 
I think I want to like make this I'm not happy with the way that that looks it doesn't look very fluid or nice just remember you can resketch while you're in pencil as much as you want once you start with the pen you better make sure that you're happy with what you got because you can't fix it after that okay after that point all right all right so I think Okay, that's a little bit better. Now, what we're going to work on, actually this top has this kind of like fun little scallop look. So probably we want to add that because that is that is something of a detail that you want to add. It's actually very much, I have a few of these type of bags and they definitely do add this scallop idea a lot. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead, think about being a sewing machine and doing every stitch exactly the same. I you know it's like boring, this woman's crazy. Whatever, fine, okay. You can think I'm crazy. Lots of people do. Okay, so here we go. So now we have these areas that are in and out. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put in our drawstring. As you can see, it's a nice little braid. And we're going to do our tassel. Okay, so let's do that. Let's start out with our draw a string it's up here so we're going to draw in these eyelets they're actually self eyelets which is really nice the whole thing is just these bags are just amazing how they're done okay so we got our eyelets in there and let's get our um braid in there so first we're going to just draw in the braid as a tube Gonna draw our nice kind of knot. And put down the rest of the braid. Let's see how much. These are some fun, look at these tassels. They're like whew, humongous. They look like little dolls, like Kachina dolls or something. Okay, here we go. So next we're going to put in our big tassel, okay. You can make them, like, lying down on the tabletop, whatever. Okay, so. And it has a little ropey thing here. And, and lots of lines. You want to add a lot of lines because in the end you're going to wind up using a lot of lines to these guys when you do your. But you don't have to draw each one in like we did with the side tassels you just give them a bottom i mean you could also do that also with the side tassels if you really want to maybe we should make our lives a little bit less crazy okay there all right so there we have that now i'm trying to think i think the tassel we did on the side is actually a little bit longer in the actual bag so i'm gonna have to redo that but that's okay what i'm gonna do is i'm just going to do the same thing I did on the tassel. It's on the bottom tassel. Just give myself a flurry of lines, like so, and then finish up and close them. And you have a lot to work with anyway, because like I said, I counted them, they're 33 per tassel. So it's like, wow, that's a lot. Okay. So there, now we have our bag and pencil. There is, oh, ooh, we forgot one thing. This goes behind the strap. Okay, so it goes on the eyelet behind the strap. Gotta make sure we put in our braid. Make sure you do that braid in there because that also is going to add. Now what I'm going to do next is pen. The thing about the pen in these cases is that you wanna make sure that Every detail on this bag is a perfect line that's closed because if you use this as a scanned sketch and that you want to colorize, if you don't have every line perfect, it's going to be, wow, scary. Okay, you'll have to do a lot of um, stuff on the computer in Adobe Illustrator to, uh, there you go. So that's what our bag is looking like. And it's not too off now let's zoom out here we go see same kind of thing big 
Next, we're going, next week, we're going to do the details. But now, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our sketch. And we are going to give ourselves a very dark outline. Now, I'm looking at it before. Like I said, this is the time to make corrections. I think I want this bag a little bit more of a... Got more like a butt on it because I think it looks a little too skinny. There's a little fun stuff happening there, okay? I think I want it more like that. Okay. I think that's good. Yeah, it looks a little bit more healthy. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead. I'm going to grab, first thing, El Cheapo Sharpie. You can use a brush pen. Totally satisfactory with your brush pen also. So let's go ahead. We're going to use the Sharpie to go on our outline of larger things like tassels, the outline of the bag. Details we're going to do with a precision or an a fine line. Okay, so here we go. Let's go because I don't want to make a too long of a video to drive you guys nuts. So what I'm doing is I'm just giving myself an idea of the extra tassel bits coming out. Here we go. Same thing. You want it to look rough, but you want it to be too crazy. Okay, so you're giving yourself the edge here. Now we're going to go ahead and do what's in front that's easier. I'm going to give some volume to the braid because it has some and that will be fantastic right fantastic okay now once we do that sometimes you could do one side thicker than the other if you want you could do that too all right we're good all right There we are. Okay, here we go. All right. So now we're doing the bottom and the side of the bag. Oops, I forgot again. Okay, gotta do that. So now we see that the bag is rounded. Very important that you get correct shapes. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to work on our top edge which has its scallop idea try to make the scallops even they're not going to be perfect the bag isn't perfect it was made by hand but you want them to be sort of even okay there and we'll do the same thing to this side there we are all right there. Okay, so now last but not least is our shoulder strap. You could do it, give it like a bumpy edge if you want because it does have one, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to go ahead and do it straight. All right. Isn't that lovely? Okay, here we go. Other side. And other side. All right. Okay, we're good. We're doing great. Now that Sharpie is new. It really stinks. Okay. Some people actually went to school for that. <laughs> the stink of markers. Okay. Now we're going to do the other side of this. You notice that by giving it the heavier edge, it kind of becomes three-dimensional. Now, around there. Just giving it some idea there, okay, of where the, um, where the eyelets are, the self eyelets. So now I'm going to go around with the fine line, this guy. You can use anything you want, but fine lines are cheap enough. And I mean, you could go and get an, you know, an $11 fine line if you really want to. It's not really necessary, but you could. Okay, so any details that are just very small, like for example, the weave or the tassels, we're just gonna go ahead and gently give ourselves some lines. And we wanna make sure that when we do this, that our lines go all the way down and that they're closed 
And you'll see why once you do it, if you digitize, you know, if you scan it and digitally do it on a computer, you want to colorize your own pencil lines after they've been digitally scanned. You better make sure that all your lines are perfectly sealed. Because if not, the color will bleed all over the place and then you're really out of luck. Okay. You have to either start all over again and stupid pain in the torch. It's not fun. Okay, I don't recommend it. Okay. So here, that's why I am taking extra time making each of my tassels go all the way down. Also, this is great practice for your hands. You want to make sure that you get the skills. Okay, so now we have a lot of very nice lines. Do that on the other side too. This side, since it's three quarters, you're not going to see it that much, which is fine. But you still also should make every line as perfectly closed and sealed as possible because that translates into a much easier sketch to fill in once it's digitally scanned. Okay. Now that I've belabored the point, let's go to the other stuff. Okay, so here we're going to make some idea of these lines are just to indicate where the bag is kind of folding in there okay so now we're going to do our braid let's make sure that all of our lines are closed like i said before and we're going to make our braid again the braid should be perfect because as you can see from the original it's going to be many colors you want to make sure that every braid that you draw is completely self-contained okay so let's draw our braids here this is that okay now and the tassel also that's going to be fun too all right. it's all fun and games until somebody gets hurt okay here we go all right It's all fun and games until the sales report comes in. <laughs> all right, here we go. Okay, so now we have our braid coming out. Okay. Just kind of drawing the braid in, and we're almost there with this one anyway. Okay, now here the same thing. Boring stuff. Go ahead, make your lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Make as many as you want, but just like I said, make sure that those ends are sealed. One, two. And you want to do a lot of them because, as you saw, the original bag has a lot of different colors in the tassel. Not all of them are like that, but this one is. So when you do it, make sure that you give yourself lots of little tassels and lines and make sure that they're perfect. Closed on the top, closed on the bottom. There. I hope you understand what I mean, but... I think once you do, okay, once you get to do the braid, you will see what I mean. And once you scan it, if you make any mistakes, you'll certainly know what I mean when I say do not leave any open-ended details on your sketch if you're scanning it. I mean, if you're going to do it 100%, it doesn't really matter. I mean, 100% on the computer, then it doesn't matter. It just takes longer. I don't know. Some people are, must be good at it, but I, whenever I do a digital sketch, I mean, a regular sketch takes me like whatever, it's 15, 20 minutes. A digital sketch takes me like three hours for some reason. I don't know why. I guess I'm more handy. All right, here we go. Okay, so now... We're getting there. We're getting to have a bag. Okay, so the last thing we need to do here is our gorgeous little tassel bag. I mean, um, 
there. Okay, ta-da, so we're done. Now, next thing we do is notice all the pencil marks on my hands. I'm going to just erase everything that we don't need. Now, next week, what we're going to do is we're going to do all the, this stuff. And that's gonna be fun. I have to think about how I wanna do that. All good thing to do when you're doing this is to plan in your head before you do anything. And then once you're finished, then you'll have a good time just sketching away if you do all your planning ahead of schedule. I guess that's true of anything in life, but when you're doing sketching, it is too. Plan, 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 a piece of artwork. Then when you do it, it'll be easy peasy to color it on the computer. Okay, let me make sure that's get all the stray marks out. Okay, perfect, ready for a scan. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this class and uh, send me your comments and subscribe and have a great weekend. Bye.